Gao Huajian. A Chinese scientist who has made a splash in the American scientific research community. Why was he criticized then praised? Why did he become a U.S. citizen but dedicate himself to China? In the scientific community, there is a controversial yet deeply respected figure, Gao Huajian. He came from humble beginnings but, with extraordinary talent and effort, soared in his scientific pursuits. At 14, he self-taught his way through high school, was admitted to Zian Jiatong University, and during college, showed an extreme passion for research, once working for 36 consecutive hours on an experiment. Such a brilliant scientist, however, made a decision after obtaining his PhD that caused a public outcry in China, he became a U.S. citizen and stayed in the U.S. to pursue scientific research, leading to accusations of being a traitor. But what is little known is that for the next two decades, on American soil, he quietly cultivated China's scientific and technological endeavors, nurturing and sending a large number of top talents back to his homeland in his own way, becoming a crucial behind-the-scenes force driving China's technological development. Today, let's delve into Gao Huajian's legendary life and uncover his untold stories. In the following main text, we will deeply explore Gao Huajian's growth journey, the context behind his difficult choices, and the profound impact of his contributions on China's and even global scientific development. At the same time, we will compare relevant cases and data from other countries to more comprehensively demonstrate the value and significance of Gao Huajian's actions. Gao Huajian was born in 1963 into a poor family in Chengdu, Sichuan. In an era of scarcity, his parents, despite their difficult lives, had a deep understanding of education and spared no effort to create conditions for Gao Huajian to study. Gao Huajian did not disappoint his parents' expectations, demonstrating astonishing learning talent and self-discipline. At just 14, he had self-studied his way through high school and successfully entered Zian Jiatong University. In China at that time, this was an extremely rare achievement. In the 1980s, China's educational resources were far less abundant than today, and to achieve such accomplishments at such a young age truly proved Gao Huajian's extraordinary nature. Statistics show that the National College Entrance Examination admission rate at the time was extremely low, only top students from various regions could get into university and cases like Gao Huajian's exceptional admission to a prestigious university were even rarer. After entering university, Gao Huajian embarked on his fervent exploration of scientific research. He often spent all day, or even longer, in the laboratory. That 36-hour experiment, where he pushed his body to its limits but persevered, ultimately led to a successful experiment. This was not only a significant breakthrough in his personal research journey but also ignited an even greater passion for scientific research within him. This dedication to research was also extremely rare among Chinese university students at the time. In China, due to limited research conditions, many students, despite their enthusiasm for research, were often restricted by factors such as equipment and funding. However, Gao Huajian, through his own efforts, maximized his talents under limited conditions, laying a solid foundation for his future advanced studies. From this, we can see that Gao Huajian's love for scientific research was pure and not overly constrained by external conditions. His ability to persevere in pursuing scientific truth in difficult environments is commendable in any era and any country. This also laid the groundwork for his future prominence on the international scientific stage. Often, a person's success is not accidental. These early experiences shaped Gao Huajian's tenacious research qualities, enabling him to bravely face subsequent challenges. After graduating with his bachelor's degree, 
Gao Huajian's mentor recognized his immense potential in the field of scientific research and suggested he pursue advanced studies abroad. At that time, there was a clear gap in scientific and technological fields between China and Western countries, and studying abroad became an important way for many outstanding students to improve themselves and accumulate strength for the nation's scientific and technological development. Gao Huajian followed this trend and decided to pursue further studies in the United States. With his solid professional knowledge and excellent abilities, he was successfully admitted to Harvard University. This news caused quite a stir in the domestic academic community. It is well known that Harvard University holds an extremely high academic standing globally, and being admitted there was a great affirmation of Gao Huajian's abilities. Compared to domestic universities at the time, Harvard University possessed more advanced research equipment, richer academic resources, and a more open academic atmosphere. In the late 1980s, domestic university research equipment was relatively old, many experiments could not be carried out, and academic exchanges were also relatively limited. Harvard University, on the other hand, gathered top scholars and excellent students from all over the world, with frequent academic exchanges and a wide range of research fields. Gao Huajian's arrival there was like entering a treasure trove of scientific research, giving him more opportunities to access the world's cutting-edge research concepts and technologies. This step was crucial for Gao Huajian's scientific career. He quickly adapted to Harvard University's open and free educational model, obtaining his master's degree in just two years, a speed that ranked among the best in Harvard's history. This fully demonstrated Gao Huajian's strong learning and adaptability, his ability to quickly absorb new knowledge and transform it into his own strength, accumulating rich knowledge for subsequent research work. From the perspective of international education, different countries' education systems have their own strengths and weaknesses, and Gao Huajian's ability to achieve excellent results in different educational environments also provides a good example for future students, proving that as long as one has the ability, they can shine regardless of the educational system. At the same time, this also reflected the importance of studying abroad for Chinese students to improve their research capabilities at that time. By connecting with international standards, they could rapidly improve their scientific research level and inject new vitality into the nation's scientific and technological development. After completing his master's degree, Gao Huajian was not content. His goal was to reach the highest peaks of scientific research so he decided to continue pursuing his doctoral degree. Doctoral studies are extremely challenging. In the United States, it takes an average of five to six years to complete the degree, but Gao Huajian successfully obtained his doctorate in just four years, at the young age of 25. This achievement caused a sensation in the American scientific community and became a legend. In the international scientific research field, Doctoral level study is not just about accumulating knowledge but also a deep test of research and innovation capabilities. To complete a doctoral degree in such a short period and achieve excellent results indicates that Gao Huajian possessed unique insights and innovative thinking in scientific research. Compared to the talent cultivation models in other countries, the American doctoral training system is renowned for its rigor and high quality and Gao Huajian's ability to stand out in this system is a testament to his strength. This also laid a solid foundation for his subsequent standing in the American scientific community. From his experience, it can be seen that Gao Huajian possessed extraordinary talent and diligence in scientific research, he constantly challenged himself and pushed boundaries, and this spirit was one of the key factors for his success. At the same time, his success also set an example for Chinese students on the international scientific stage, proving the competitiveness of Chinese talent globally. However, just as he was about to embark on a new scientific journey after graduating with his doctorate, 
Gao Huajian faced a difficult choice. He loved scientific research and had excellent research conditions in the United States, advanced laboratories, ample research funding, and top research teams. But he also felt immense gratitude towards his homeland, which was at a critical juncture of technological development and urgently needed a large number of outstanding scientific research talents. This choice was undoubtedly painful for Gao Huajian. In the international environment at that time, there was a significant technological gap between China and the United States, with the U.S. leading in many fields. For researchers, superior research conditions often meant the ability to achieve more scientific breakthroughs. Many international students, when faced with such a choice, opted to stay abroad. According to relevant statistics, the return rate of Chinese students studying in the U.S. at that time was not high, and a large number of talented individuals were lost to the United States and other Western countries. Gao Huajian ultimately decided to join American citizenship and stay in the United States to engage in scientific research, a decision that immediately caused a huge uproar in China. The Chinese public found his actions incomprehensible and widely accused him of being a traitor. People believed that the nation had nurtured him, yet he chose to serve the United States, seeing this as a betrayal of his homeland. From an emotional perspective, the public's reaction is understandable, as in the general perception, returning to one's home country after completing studies is a matter of course. However, from Gao Huajian's perspective, his heart was also filled with struggle and pain. He was not unpatriotic, but in the circumstances at the time, he believed that he could better develop his scientific career in the United States and perhaps contribute to his homeland in another way. This incident also reflected the difficulties China faced in attracting talent back home at the time, compared with Western countries. China had a significant gap in research conditions and remuneration, which led many outstanding talents to choose to stay abroad in the face of foreign temptations. But Gao Huajian's story did not end there, he proved through his actions that his love for his homeland never changed. For over 20 years in the United States, Gao Huajian outwardly was a thriving scientist in the American scientific community, but his heart was always with his homeland. He mentored more than 20 PhD students and hundreds of master's students, and during their training, he strongly encouraged these students to return to China after graduation to pursue their careers. He deeply understood that China's technological development needed a large number of outstanding talents, and his resources and standing in the United States could help cultivate a cohort of top scientific researchers for his homeland. These students, after returning to China, made significant contributions in their respective fields, becoming important forces driving China's technological development. For example, his student Wang Xiang played an important role in the aerospace field after returning to China, participating in the docking missions of Tiangong-1 and Shenzhou-8. Additionally, Six of his students received funding from the National Science Fund for Distinguished Young Scholars, achieving significant accomplishments in high-tech fields such as aerospace aerodynamics and solid mechanics. Compared to talent cultivation models in other countries, Gao Huajian's approach has unique value. Internationally, some developed countries also attract excellent students from other countries for advanced studies, but they often hope these students will stay in their host country to serve its development. Gao Huajian, however, did the opposite, he utilized American educational resources to train talent for China, a rare selfless dedication. From the perspective of China's technological development, these returning overseas talents brought back advanced scientific concepts and technologies, filling gaps in certain domestic fields and greatly promoting the improvement of China's technological level. They became the backbone of China's technological development, enabling China to quickly catch up with world-leading levels in areas where it was once lagging.
Gao Huajian's cultivation model paved a new path for China's technological development and provided a valuable reference for other researchers overseas. He proved through his actions that even abroad, one can make immense contributions to the scientific and technological endeavors of their homeland by cultivating talent. In addition to cultivating talent, Gao Huajian actively promoted the establishment of joint research bases between domestic universities and Stanford University. He returned to China multiple times each year for academic exchanges, introducing cutting-edge technologies to Chinese students and bringing back important research materials. In terms of international scientific research cooperation, such cross-national joint research bases can promote communication and cooperation among researchers from different countries, sharing research resources and achievements. Compared to other international scientific cooperation cases, the cooperation model promoted by Gao Huajian focused more on the introduction of technology and the cultivation of talent. He not only brought advanced foreign technologies back to China but, more importantly, through academic exchanges and cooperative research, he cultivated the research capabilities and innovative thinking of domestic researchers. Through these activities, domestic researchers could stay updated on the latest international research trends, connect with international standards, and improve their own research capabilities. At the same time, Gao Huajian also guided many domestic students to achieve important results and return to China for development, further promoting the progress of China's scientific and technological endeavors. Although his actions did not attract much attention, they genuinely made immense contributions to China's scientific and technological development. He acted as a bridge, connecting the scientific research fields of China and the United States, introducing advanced American technologies and experiences to China, and injecting new vitality into China's scientific and technological development. In 2015, Gao Huajian was elected as a foreign academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This news began to help the outside world gradually understand his intentions and efforts over the years. It turned out that, despite having become a U.S. citizen, he never forgot his homeland. His long-term efforts in the United States had been a quiet dedication to China's technological development. From this event, it can be seen that China fully affirmed Gao Huajian's contributions. The selection of foreign academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences is very strict, requiring candidates to have outstanding achievements in scientific research and significant contributions to China's scientific and technological endeavors. Gao Huajian's election indicates that his efforts in cultivating talent and promoting scientific research cooperation were recognized. Compared to other countries' methods of attracting international scientific talent, China, through the selection of foreign academicians, attracted a group of influential scientists like Gao Huajian to serve China's technological development. This not only enhanced China's influence in the international scientific research field but also provided domestic researchers with more opportunities for exchange and cooperation with top international scientists. After being elected as a foreign academician, Gao Huajian further strengthened his ties with domestic research institutions, playing an even greater role in promoting Sino-U.S. scientific research cooperation. His experience also made more people realize that evaluating a scientist's contribution should not only consider their nationality but, more importantly, their actual actions towards the advancement of human technology and national progress. Gao Huajian's story tells us that technological development requires the joint efforts of all countries, and scientists can contribute to human progress in various ways. He, through his controversial yet incredibly great life, embodied his dedication to science and his love for his homeland. We hope everyone pays attention to Gao Huajian's deeds and looks forward to more researchers shining on the global stage of technological development, contributing their strength to world peace and security.
Thank you for reading. If you have any thoughts on Gao Huajian's story, feel free to leave a comment and share.